gets confused because it thinks it's poo. I am the perfect snowboy. I'm tired of buck buck. Oh, I smell like old tomatoes. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Today we're going to scan in a new card from the RV series of villagers, and if you happen to miss meeting Gonzo, the bank robbing koala bear who was on the lamb and hiding out in our campground in the last episode, definitely check that out. Today we're going to get another villager in town that I promise is just about as weird and interesting as Gonzo, so before we do that, I want to take a quick little chilly December evening stroll through Gooston because I've got a couple things we can do here. For one, Katrina is in town, and I think we're getting pretty close to the 20 fortunes we need to get her to uh, move in. I was wondering what Brofina was thinking about. Planting flowers in the winter. <gasps> oh, one of my traps. Okay, I got to do this carefully. Be very, very quiet. Brofina, don't you ruin this for me. I'm trying to sneak up on... Where is it? It's a dung. It's confused because it thinks it's poo, but it's not. Yes, we got it. The last insect I need for my collection and the museum. I caught a dung beetle. Nah, the, this joke's just too easy. All right, and there we go. Does that mean that? Yippee! Don't kill it. Jeez, be careful there. It's squirming. I've caught every type of bug. Ha ha, and Brofina can't even be bothered to cheer for me. Okay. Now, uh, before, yeah, I want to make sure we're out past five. I usually record in the mornings, but we have to be out past five in the evening to get those dung beetles to appear. But we're running out of time to get our fortune with Katrina, but I do want to donate that so we can hopefully get our gold net at long last. This is definitely a first for me. Since we came back from the update, I got the fossils complete at the museum, and now we have the bugs. I don't think I've ever completed any of my collections before. The great happiness from the stars attempting to visit you. I, Katrina, can reveal your fortune, or your future, and the way to capture fortunes untold for a mere 500 bells. All right, this might be the last time we see this tent with her weird collection of so many vases. <laughs> Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. All right, we're gonna head out into the cosmos and get our fortune. Kiha ha mo atata, ki ha ha mo atata ina rojo. Here we go. Mmm, aha, yes, it has come into view. While the plants sleep at midnight, one, two, counts the president of Nook's homes. Bells, not plants. From this place I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon wealth. Hat. <laughs> well, we're in luck already. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Okay. So, yeah, we could use the lucky phone for this, but if we get her to move into town, there's a couple of special hats that I didn't even realize that we can get from her. We couldn't complete the Zelda Museum otherwise. Since you are already wearing a lucky item now, I think you'll be fine for today. May happiness find you and yours, and remember that bad times are just times that are bad. So, ooh, she didn't say anything. Do we have to talk to her? Hat? This item? <laughs> okay. Well, oh, here we go. Yes. Ahem. May I have a moment of your time? It appears the people of Gustin strongly desire the guidance of the stars. I can sense it. Perhaps... It is to be. It would not be impossible for me to set up a base in the shopping district of this town. If you need to, you could attract attention with a public works project for best cosmic strength. Of course, I leave the, deci the decision in your hands. Farewell. So we're going to have to complete that Moai head a little sooner than I thought. I have hundreds of thousands of bells to pay off on that thing. But if we can do that, then we'll be able to complete Main Street. Other than the museum, I think Main Street is going to be completed in full, because I've got TNT Emporium, I got a little hamster dinging me. What's up? Hey, I'm, I'm way too excited, cool guy. I've decided that it's time to change my catchphrase. Uh, you know how I say dingle dong all the time. Yep, I'm so sick of it. Me too. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, let's change it. Hmm. Really? You think so too? Then it really must be stale, dingle dong. Uh, you've got to change it for me. Hmm. How about... All right, it's not the best one I could come up with, but I could picture a little otaku like Graham saying, Let me try that out. Yowie wowie. So do you like it? That's perfect. <laughs> At least for now. This catchphrase is going to be the talk of the town. Yowie wowie. I totally love it. Yowie wowie. <laughs> All right, so he's going to scoot along in the snow. All the villagers look so cute walking around, but they're probably getting pretty cold, especially some of the ones that are barefoot like Cranston. And, oh, there's the other snowball. So I kind of spotted them because I wanted to make sure I knew where they were. But at the same time, we only needed the one because it's a pretty high likelihood of getting 
those little dung beetles skittering around. So let's scan in this amiibo. I want to drop off that dung beetle at the museum, though. But then we'll head to the campground. I did have some turnips here, but I, I managed to sell them. Keep them by the door to ward off Draculas. Okay, so Wisp. Let's scan in a very weird villager that, again, has not been around since the original game and was going to be in Happy Home Designer, got cut, and they are here now. So here we go. The new Peppy villager returning. It's <laughs> Ketchup. Okay. Her <laughs> it's a duck with the head of a tomato, so... Ketchup is here by popular demand. <laughs> I smell like pizza. Um, well, does that look ketchup for a while? So I figured she'd have kind of a, like, squished cheek. Look at those big old chubby cheeks. Let's get her to come to the campground. All right, and hopefully the real ketchup will have something good for us. Now, I wanted to mention, I've got most of the amiibo cards. I was asking you guys in the comments who, well, the, the new amiibo cards. I'm nowhere near collecting all the originals because there's one for, like, every villager. But the new RV ones, there's only 50 of those, so there's not too many to get. And I have all of them except for five. So Tybalt, Stu, Ursula, Biddy, and Sprocket, the most popular one in the comments by far. So many people wanted to see that robotic bird coming to town and maybe meeting Ribot or something because they're both robots. I want to see Sprocket too, so I'm going to keep up the hunt to uh, to try to get Sprocket to, to travel at least to the campgrounds, if not move in. But unfortunately, that's one of the five cards I don't have, so... I apologize, and I was sneaking around here buying some some cup of noodles that I put in my house, but let's go, oh yeah, Joan is here. I wanna get more turnips. I've been trying to play the turnip trade to make sure I can get my house upgraded and get those public works projects done. One of the better ways, other than going to the island, to get bells, and oh, I don't think we've met, or uh, gone to, Joan is so weird looking in, in her trailer, because look at the back of her head. She doesn't wear that hat when she's in here, and it is very odd looking. I'll turn her around. It's kind of like a long boar's head, but it, you can see why she wears it. Oh, Hella, you don't mind little old me camping here, do you? I sure do like what you've done with this town. Great job. So you can only spend so much time growing and selling turnips. 99.9% .9 of your time, it turns out. In her spare 0.1%, Joan loves a good camping trip, and she's got a bunch of Japanese-themed items here on sale. She's kind of dressed like a, uh, a farmer, like a a bamboo cutter, that sort of thing. And some of this stuff is new, I believe. The hearth has been around. Of course, I got some lucky cats. I kind of want to get... She's got a little... Uh, it looks like mochi there with her Zen tea set. I kind of want to get the Zodiac boar because it's a little bobblehead thing. And I think these were only available for certain... Was it certain years? And I don't know if all of them were ever released. I can't remember if they were DLC items or what. Excuse me, Joan. I'd like to... There we go. Boing, <laughs> But yeah, so she is kind of more traditional. She's got KK Folk playing. Let's see what she does if she'll turn around here. She's reminding me Tucker is another villager that has big tusks like her, and he's a mammoth. I'm kind of tempted to have him move into town. It's so tough choosing only 10 villagers. I've got two slots open if I cook, uh, kick Curly out, and I'm really having a tough time deciding on who to join. We definitely need an Uchi villager, and I'm thinking of going with Phoebe, the phoenix, because she seems like one of the cooler ones, kind of like Drago, she's a mythical creature. But anyways, here's Ketchup. Oh, Ketchup, she thinks she goes with everything, but she really, really doesn't. Word to the wise, do not eat any of the pizza that she offers you. <laughs> oh, weird, okay. So she's got an ivy wall, a backyard lawn, standard stuff there, but she's got a brick oven, which I think Harvey will offer as well, a cutting board set, pile of firewood, some of this I've seen Car Harvey uh, offer, glass teapot, Ooh. With some seeds in there, metal and wood chair, and the one that I kind of want here, a work table as well, but I want to get this pizza. I am making, if you guys, you know, I didn't already say, I'm making an Earthbound themed museum exhibit, and I want the pizza for that, because that is a staple of any psychic child. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, and then, yeah, it's not too complicated, but I just like the fact that we have, ooh, that opens up, we've got this weird little duck with the head ne Neapolitan, which is perfect for pizza. We got this weird duck that looks like a tomato. So let's talk to her. Oh, she's a peppy villager. If I didn't already have Tangy in town, who also looks like a piece of fruit, which is strange, as well as uh, I want to get Epona to move in. Maybe we'd have her move in. What do you guys think? Oh, okay. Man, this voice. 
Hey, okay, so aren't you just uh, like, so excited to be here, buddy? She's referencing one of the villagers, Biddy, that I don't have the card for. She's taunting me. This town is totally me. You know, I just feel like I've lived here my whole life or something. Aww, she is really cute. Yeah, what's up? Let's talk. Please tell me my car is in a complete eyesore. I really tried my best. I knew I should have bought that gold plated hand mirror instead. Aww. Oh, I smell like old tomatoes. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave her. She is cute. Let me know. Yeah, ah, so many tough choices. We don't have a little duck, which is a crime against Goostin itself. And oh, Harv is feeding the birds again. Remember, if you talk to him, you can get those seeds if he's doing that. But I've got some, or beans, actually. So, uh, okay. Well, one thing I could do is try to make another snowman. I definitely should do that. This is the sign that someone was talking about here, and it just says, this is the Goostin campground. I can't remember if I showed you guys that way back when the update first came out. But let me start rolling this towards that field. So we've got the snowman over there. He's been giving me bingo card numbers, and he's also already almost dead, unfortunately. I might try to get the other one over to this spot, because it's a little safer to roll around here. Choo, 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 choo. It reminds me of Katamari Damacy when you're <laughs> rolling those things around. All right, let me see if we can head by Brofina. Brofina, I uh, I was almost really mad at her if she messed up the dung beetle catch. We could get another one though, so it wasn't the end of the world. But at the same time, she just gave me a public works project that She's a, she's a snooty villager, and they give you the kind of zen-themed ones, and she wants us to build a hot spring, which I think would be really cool, so I think maybe we will do that. Maybe that'll attract Joan to come to town more if she's a uh, very Japanese-minded. But yeah, I'm so happy that she recommended that. So if we want to do the snow... I'm going to try the snow ma'am, which is the, uh, the mother, or maybe the snow boy. Let me see, because then if we mess up the snow boy, we can get another snow man. So this has to be around our ear level, so I'm going to roll this around. And another tip I saw in the comments, I didn't realize, I guess if you roll it on pavement and places that don't have snow, then it will actually shrink a little bit. So if you're, you're aiming for a very specific snow person and you can't quite get that level right, then that is a way to reduce it. So let's see, it's a little tough to see where my feet are, just above... Uh, ear level, or at my ear level, I guess, is where it needs to be for the boy. So we don't want it to be too big here. Uh, is that... We're supposed to have above ear level for the... That actually looks almost perfect. And then we need it to be slightly slower. I can't tell if that guy is perfect or not. They tell you, I think, because the snow tyke would have given me something, I think, if we had made a perfect snowman. But we want to aim for perfect, and hopefully that snow tyke will give us some rewards. So this needs to be slightly smaller, and... You know, always have the smaller one rolled into the bigger one. I know people mess up sometimes and you have a giant headed snow person, which is not what you want. And let's see here. That looks just about right if I roll this into it. Let's see. Oh, it's a snowboy. I, I am the perfect snowboy. I'm in love with the way you made me, bud. These beautiful snowy curves. I'm the complete package. You are one skilled snowboy maker. I can't thank you enough for your top-notch snowman making skills. I'll be sending you a letter with something to show my appreciation. Keep an eye out for it. Okay, so he's happy. I'll be hanging out in this town for a while. It's gonna be fun until he melts. Let's go talk to the snow tyke to see if he has any updates for us since we built him a big brother. And then I'm gonna finish by going to the museum and donating that bug. I'm thinking about doing whole episode, like a couple episodes as bonus things that, ooh, will be uh, to show you guys the museum collections now that they're starting to get finished. My mom isn't anywhere in this town. She's a bit bigger than me and she's really pretty. If you don't mind, please make the rest of my family. It's my dream to have my entire family together in this town. I miss those guys. Aww. So yeah, if we can get her mom, or this one's mom built tomorrow before it melts, that would be great. Phineas is here, probably because I got all my bugs. Oh, good day to you, youngster. Walking in the evening, well, it always makes me feel uneasy. Oh, weird. By the way, is there something you needed from me? I'm used to being up early because I'm old. Okay, ah, oh, you want a badge, do you? Let's see, what kind of badge best suits you? Hmm, I see. Ah, oh, cuck, cuck. Seems you now know the, all there is to know about the lives of bugs, master of insects. You look like you're beaming with pride as you walk around with that fine bug encyclopedia of yours. Got the perfect match for you. All right. And that should be the only one he has for us. If you keep being good, the badge better bring you a new badge, okay? All right, don't punch him in the face, he's old. I got the Professor of Entomology badge. Everyone agrees I'm a bug specialist. 
not etymology, which is, I think, descendancy or whatever. <laughs> Entomology. Lucky you, we got a new badge. Okay, I'll take care of that. But yeah, I can't believe that my entire bug encyclopedia, not my designs, there's a sneak peek at some of the future designs that I've got. But yeah, look, it is completely filled out with all these bugs. I never thought I would do it in any Animal Crossing game. It always seemed crazy, because you have to be going around the whole year to get most of them. So, Dumpling, I think my usual green is <laughs> getting stale. I'm tired of buck I'd like you to spice it up. How about it? No, I just gave you that. You keep that. It's good. No, well, then I'll stick with my usual thing for a bit longer, Dumpling. Stop calling me Dumpling, though. Now, Cranston has started calling me Boss, which is kind of cool. I like that one, but Dumpling's not bad. It's better than Schmoopy. Okay, and yeah, the, I kind of mentioned these. This is the first time I think I've seen the new light coloration for the, uh, the Happy Home area. That used to be a little different. I think it wasn't as blue, but we're going to finish the episode by... I don't know if it's going to get mailed to me or if we're going to get it, but it was a little disappointing completing the fossils and not getting any rewards, but Blathers is awake to get this last one. I think it's because the golden shovel is a reward that you get from Leaf instead. Hmm, whoo, how may I be of service? We've got a donation here. What would you like to donate? The final bug, the little purple dung beetle that this museum is missing. Ooh, eek, a bug. Oh, ah, uh, I beg your pardon. I just don't like handling these things much. Well, mm, hoo hoo, a dung beetle. This dung beetle here reminds me vaguely of when I was but a chick in my mother's nest. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, anywho, I promise we will take good care of this critter. We'll just spread it later with a more detailed description, so please come back to see it. Thank you very much. Eh, anything for me, buddy? I'm like, <laughs> rubbing my fingers together. May I offer any further assistance? Nope. Uh, then please enjoy the rest of your visit. Wait a second. I thought we donated all the bugs. What are we missing? Did I forget to donate a certain bug? Oh no, how am I gonna know? There's so many bugs. I thought I donated all of them. <gasps> oh man. Well anyways, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this mystery. Please let me know in the comments what other villagers you wanna see visit the town. Doesn't have to be those amiibo cards, the new ones. Hey Drago, speaking of which, he could come visit as well. But, uh, but yeah, I gotta figure out this mystery. And also, I had another thing I was going to ask you guys about, and I can't even remember now. But yeah, so uh, anyways, if you have any villagers you want to see... Oh, that was it. I'm thinking about doing some bonus episodes where I, you know, take a whole, whole time to do a big tour of all the insects. We'll learn all about them. We'll step on a bunch of ants, all that good stuff. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Check out any of the other series you might not have, especially, you know, The Last Guardian, Pokemon. A lot of the games I'm really enjoying right now. I hope you guys will enjoy, too. There's a beetle fight happening. But for now, we're out of here. We'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing.